a few crazy um, domestic um, domestic stories. So this is a story out of Seattle. Uh, the Seattle public schools, public school districts, have made a decision to shut down 11 schools that are dedicated to, 11 schools dedicated to, highly capable learners, gifted students. Um, they include three elementary schools, five middle schools, and three high schools. Uh, one of the problems with these schools, or the main problem with these schools, is uh, these schools have uh, a, a dramatic overweighting, uh, overrepresentation of white and Asian students. Uh, they are one of the least diverse gifted programs in the country. So the solution uh, to this from the Seattle Public Schools is to shut these schools down. They will send these kids to regular schools. In these schools, by the way, these kids form a cohort from when they're very young, and they go through, um, uh, they go through elementary, middle school, and high school as a cohort. So they're studying together, and, and there's a lot of stability there, and they feed off of each other, and they advance as a cohort. Uh, they are now going to break up the cohort, send them to their neighborhood public schools. The, uh, the school districts are aiming to create, uh, you know, some special programs for highly capable students in the neighborhood schools, but they will be exposed to a diverse student body and they will break up the cohorts so the students will be in different classes with different kids um, uh, throughout. This is all part of, as you would expect, the attempt of the um, Seattle School District to deal with equity and historical inequality uh, or inequity. And uh, the idea here is always, whenever you see inequality, equity discussed, it's always the case that the solution to it is going to be penalize the able, knock the able down, make it harder for the able to be successful, uh, uh, chop down the tall poppies. And, and I, I really, this story, I can't think of anything more evil being done today in America. Uh, of all the things that woke and schmoke and everything else does, there is nothing more evil than trying to knock down the, the quality of education that the smartest kids get. Uh, there's nothing more evil than taking talent and ability uh, and, uh, and uh, repressing it and suppressing it. Uh, you know, and, and all, of us suffer, all of us suffer when that happens. Not only these kids are suffering, and it's horrible because they, 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 will, they will never be able to completely live up to their potential, or at least the school district will try to make it impossible for them to live up to their potential. But all of us suffer because these are the people that start companies. These are the people that become scientists. These are the people that are going to engineer uh, the, the sediments on Mars. These are the people that are going to create new drugs that extend human life or that, or that cure diseases. These are the people that actually, in a significant way, make a difference in the world. They do. That's the reality. People with high levels of intelligence are the people who have the potential to really, really make a difference in the world in terms of changing the world for the better from a, from a business engineering uh, you know, and, and scientific perspective. So suppressing them, hurting them, hurts all of us. And yet, the goal of the, event, of the egalitarians is destruction. The goal of egalitarians is, you know, destruction of the most able. The goal of the egalitarians is fundamental nihilist, fundamentally nihilistic. It's nihilistic and it's, it's depressing and sad and horrible. And again, I can't think of anything worse that could be going on. This is the consequence of egalitarianism. There's no more evil than ideology out there. Literally no more evil than ideology out there. Than, uh, than egalitarianism, uh, whose goal is to quash, squash ability. I hope parents of gifted kids, of talented kids, leave Seattle. They just leave or take the kids out of public schools and put them in private schools or get out, get out of Seattle. Uh, it, it, it really is depressing.